Hey gangs, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Cara Valentine. I hope you like my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Hi guys. So first time na dito ako nag video sa kitchen namin. And I decided to do this video because I was craving this. And I was like, okay, you know what? Instead of just plain eating, why don't I do something creative? Shut up, creative. <laughs> So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I eat noodles. I'll be telling you guys how I got into Kings while eating this pile of noodles. First is warming. Mahang hang ito and my sipon ako so if ever may mangyari, excuse me na lang. Excuse me na lang. <laughs> So, my tissue ako dito sa side. And water. Just in case. So, ayun. Let's eat muna before I start. Mm. By the way, look at my ring. This is called Valentina. It's a collab I did with Wear Ivory. I'll be linking their Instagram down below. So you can check out the collab we had, which is the Valentina ring. It's a heart-shaped ring. It's so pretty. It's so So how I got into Kings, first is I had an agent that time, so she did everything for me. But now na ano na ako for uni, ano na siya, I did everything on my own na, because it was much easier because I already knew what to do. So but oily. For international students, kahit, for international students. You have to go through foundation first. Foundation is what we call, ano, um, it's like a bridging, if ever, na alam niyo yung term na bridging. It's like a senior high for them that you have to take if hindi ka mag A levels. A levels is their high school. If dito ka sa Philippines na graduate, senior high, senior high, that's grade 11 and 12 for them, it's called A levels. So if gusto, if mag transfer ka ng. UK, it's either you took you take A levels or foundation. Foundation is only like nine months, I think. Depende at sa school. But for A levels, it's two years. So basically, you go through senior high again. So you. After graduating from A levels, chaka foundation. Jan ka na mag enter for uni. Uni is the term they use for university, but in the Philippines it's called college. Well, you're in A levels, and while you're in foundation, your teachers or your tutor, it's called tutor, will help you apply in UCAS. UCAS is the website. British people or international students used to apply for universities. I forgot the acronym of UCAS. Oh, UCAS pala isn't only for British schools or schools in the UK, but my other schools then involved 
like maybe meron ibang European schools pero hindi ako sure kung saan na. But you can check their website. So basically, for my foundation, I chose the, the course Business Management and Social Science. Yeah, you have to take two, two courses for the foundation. I'm not sure with A-levels because I didn't take that. It would take so long for me to graduate. So yun, foundation, yun lang kinuha ko. While in foundation, your teacher will help you how to apply for UCAS. But also, same process lang. How you applied for foundation will be the same way how you applied for your uni. So, like I said, I had an agent. So, she did everything for me. She applied for me. But she required me to get an I to do... No, not IELTS. It's UKVI. For UK, it's UKVI, but for Australia and US, I think IELTS. Not sure. I'm sure it's Australia IELTS because my friend had IELTS. If you are living in Manila, then it's easy for you to get UKVI because they only do it in Manila and Cebu. If you're not from Cebu nor Manila, then you have to travel and go there. Get a schedule to do your IELTS and also do an interview. So basically, that's two days. They will give you an appointment to when you will do your interview and your exam. Different days yun sila, but meron yun iba na isang araw lang. Not sure though. So yun, you have to do your IELTS. In UCAS, you will already know everything. But first, I think the most important thing is what course you want. Kasi there are really good schools, but... Sometimes they don't focus on the course you want. So you have to really choose the course first. Search it up before you go to UCAS and see how to apply for that specific course in that school or university. So while I was in foundation, I had two courses, right? Social Science and Business Management. I had to take Business Management Social Science, Business Society, EAP, EAP, um, ano yung isa? Business ba? Um, kalimutan ko yung isa. But yeah, you have to do courses and then your grades must be good enough. Kasi, during your foundation year, you will have to do something na dapat na hindi pa final. For example, sa first semester namin, we had to do a lot of homework and essays and quizzes. We had to do a lot of essays. So if you don't work hard on getting a nice grade, then your predicted grades will not be good. If your predicted grades will not be good, then you will most likely not be able to get into the university you want. So, yung first semester parang trial lang for us, but then we still had to do our we still had to do our best kasi nga yung predicted grades yung more important. Even though hindi graded yung yung pinagawa nila sa amin, they will know there kung ano yung capabilities namin and our teachers will give the predicted grades and send it to the university that we applied to through UCAS. So, from the first semester pa lang, kahit hindi siya, ka, hindi, siya pre, hindi siya kasali sa official grade mo, which is on the second semester pa, you still have to work hard para maganda yung predicted grades na mabigay sa yung teachers mo. Oh, ow. Wow. For my course, I needed an overall 65. You guys may think na. You guys may think na, ah, oh, lang pala na 65. But it's not like that at all. 65 is like a 90 already. It's already a good grade. 70 is already a 95. And then, 75 over is almost already 100. So, it's really hard to achieve. Akala nyo lang madali achieve kasi maliit tingnan yung numbers. Kasi iba yung curriculum dito sa Philippines. But in the UK, 
it's very bihira for someone to get a 75 above. The biggest score I had while in foundation was 74. And that was reporting already. My essays were like 69, 70, and it was not easy. Hindi ka na masaya if 65 below kasi that is already like 85 in the Philippines and hindi ka na makakabawi if maliliit yung grades mo. So, kahit maliit siya tingnan, iba talaga yung curriculum. Especially that, in the UK, they focus more on essays. In the Philippines, we might think we're, we're just memorizing a lot kasi nga it's multiple choice or ano. But essays, they're very different. They give you a question and you have to answer it with more than 400 words in an hour. And you have to be very specific and precise to what your point is. And mahirap kasi your teachers don't know na kanino yung paper na chine-check nila. So, sa London or sa UK, ini, naiiwasan talaga yung cheating. Kasi your teachers don't check your paper. It's not like for example i am the teacher of this class i won't be checking their paper because or maybe she will but she will not know because we submit our essays assignments exams in a number in a student number so they will not know who the student is so they will be checking based on your answer exactly on the essay so hindi mo din talaga alam kung Tama mo yung, tama yung sinagot mo kasi iba-iba yung klaseng teacher na nag, nag-check ng paper mo. For us, pag dalawang teacher ang nag-check ng papers namin, kaya naiiwasan na may, may students na nagre-reklamo. We don't get to say na, oh, why did I get this grade? They will give you an answer directly when they sub- they return your paper and when, they, when you know your grade. So if you got like a 60, there's an explanation on the side. This is the reason why parang but ganun yung grade mo and then you will you will think oh yeah I notice it now. Hina highlight kasi nila kung ano yung mali mo. Guys, pinainit ko yung noodles kasi hindi na siya mainit and mas masarap talaga kumain ng noodles pag mainit. Ang dami ko kasi sinasabi. Pero tama yun guys, what I said earlier. Iba, iba yung teachers na nag-check ng papers mo and they won't know if you're their student kasi student number lang yung gamit. Even on exams, hindi naman teacher ang nag-check and nag roam around when we're in an exam. Super intense ng exam niya guys. Super big space. And then one seat, one seat, one seat, one seat. And then in front of you also undaming seats. Basta, example, if you have an exam on the business management subject, all of the business management students will go to the place where the exam is held. So take note, our exam is not held in the school. It's in a different place and we have to go there. Before we go there, they will the school will email us and they will give us a number and a seat number. The number is what we have to memorize kasi yan yung parang code namin. We also have to write our student number, the code, and our seat number. So, lahat ng seats doon, may numbers na. Numbering na yan. Hindi kayo magkatabi ng classmates mo or meron iba na malapit sa'yo. But, yeah, the last time, ang layo ng classmates ko sa akin. Like, medyo malayo sila. Ang dami kong sinasabi. Like, always ko sinasabi. So, pansin nyo ba? Okay, guys. Ano ba yan? Ang pink ng cakes ko. Kain mo na ako. na paaralin ang isang student sa London not only because of how difficult it is but also of how 
expensive it is to study there. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that it is really expensive if you're an international student studying abroad. Siyempre, international student niya, study na. Uh, if you're studying abroad, if you're an international student, mahirap kasi super, 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 super mahal. Like, this is the... Okay, I'm not saying this is my tuition, which I'm sure hindi ito tuition ko, but I have a friend. Her course is different from mine, ha? Her course cost 24,700 or 24,500. Well, let's say 24,500. 24,500 pounds. I will compute everything here. So, she has 24,500 pounds for international student on her course. For British people, they only have to pay 9,000 pounds. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Oh my god. That does include the accommodation pa when you have nowhere to live there, your transportation. Plus, if if hindi mo kailangan ng visa, ay, if kailangan mo ng visa, you have to also get a visa. For the visa, it's difficult for me because I have to go to Manila to process everything pa. You also need a TB test. Hmm? You need to do a TB test pa. You have to pay for that pa. You have to wait for the results. Then you have to also pay for the insurance. Kasi it's called NHS. It's like a... Hindi siya hospital. But like, basta NHS yung tawag sa amin. And then, I don't have to pay anything if ever something happens to me. Simba. Oh! Tap on the wood. Before I end this video, I just want you guys to know how important it is to actually study from a really good university. Or, me, or in my case, abroad. Because I'm not studying here in the Philippines, so I'm out there. A lot of people always ask me, Mahirap ba dun? Aren't you afraid? Aren't you scared? Are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. Yes, I'm scared. Yes, it's Mahirap. But the thing is, it's not how difficult it is, it's how much you can endure it. Personally, I know that I'm a very adventurous person and hindi naman gaano independent, pero kaya ko maging independent. Like, I'm not the type of person who can't fit in a place where I'm um, supposed to be. Charot. So, I am the type of person na pag ilagay mo ako sa isang place na wala akong kilala, I will make friends. I'm the type of person who tries. I'm ambitious and I have a lot of pride. Charot. Pero seryoso, ganun kasi talaga. If hindi ka naman, if hindi mo kaya mag-fit in sa isang place, wait, tas nag-invest ka na dun, parang masakit sa bulsa ng parents mo. At the same time, tayo, kasi you're already there. What else can you do? So before you really go through the process of applying to a good university or going abroad, you really have to think about it. Kasi may iba dyan, kahit from Davao to Manila lang, nahihirapan na. What more if you're miles and miles and miles away from your family, na ang magawa mo lang is say you miss them and see them in the next break. It is difficult to be far from your family and from your friends. But when you want to explore and learn something new in a different country, in a different city, in a place with a different culture, it's important to keep in mind that's your purpose. It's important to keep in mind that you are here because you want to learn not only with the school but with the people around you. The thing with London, that's why I chose it because it's very diverse. It's not something that you feel you're very different. I went there and thought, oh my god, iba ako, iba ako dito. But when I got there, I was like, oh, we are all different. Not just by the way we look, but the way we think. I have international classmates na Chinese, Arab, Korean, madaming, may, mayroon pang American, mayroon din akong Turkish, mayroon Brazilian, mayroon African, may mga ganun. A lot, a lot of people there. There are Indians, a lot of Indians, a lot of Arabs, a lot of Chinese people, a lot of Koreans. And you don't feel different. Kasi you notice, we're all different. And I think, hindi lang dapat yan yung na-feel ko while I was in London. But I should have felt that too when I was here in the Philippines. Because even though we grew up in the same culture, kasi I know 
na there would be a lot of Filipinos viewing this, you are still different. You are still unique. You are still you. Iba ka mag-isip. Iba ka gumalaw. And I should have noticed that even before I came to London. But then, dun ko na-realize how different everyone is. And that's the beauty of being in a place where you feel like you don't belong. Pero at the same time, you feel like nobody belongs. Diba? Like, Get you in point ko. Like, ang ganda isipin na you're not just there to learn abroad. You're not just there in Manila to study, but to know the people. To know how the society works here. Kung paano maiba yung London sa Manila. Kung paano maiba yung UK sa Philippines. It's very different. Hindi siya culture shocking. Nobody judges you like how a lot of people actually judge you here in the Philippines. So point is, if you want to study abroad and if you think your parents can afford to, to do that for you, then go. If you just want to stay in the Philippines, then stay. If you want to go to a different city, then go. It's time for us to explore and learn not only from books, but also from other people. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Hindi ko alam kung saan ito na pupunta, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.